a typical automobile battery contains almost 20 pounds of lead, a gallon of sulfuric acid, and two pounds of plastic. Lead being heavy is a great help for recycling batteries. We break all the batteries up into little pieces. The lead will sink to the bottom, and the plastic will float to the top. That's called the hydro separation technology. It only works for lead. The different battery components must be handled separately. Each process is monitored and controlled by computers. Two different furnaces melt the reclaimed lead. Our blast furnace is the world's largest secondary lead blast furnace. We'll produce 150 tons a day of liquid lead from that furnace. The reverb furnace here holds 400 tons of liquid lead. We're tapping 100 tons right now into a 200 ton kettle. That's about 1400 degrees. It's a heck of a barbecue, absolutely. The hot liquid lead is pumped into treatment kettles. Impurities such as copper are skimmed off the top of the molten lead because everything floats on top of lead, except uranium. The lead's now ready to be cast. Below me is our 60-pound inline casting machine. We cast a variety of different alloys on it. It cools over about 40 feet of a water trough underneath the molds, and then it's ejected at the end of the casting machine and banded up using steel banding. Each year, the lead from more than 14 million old car batteries and all kinds of other lead waste is given new life. Because of lead's almost indestructible nature, and the process can be done over and over again. Lead is a very valuable commodity to mankind because of its unique characteristics. There's only one of its type. It may not be a silver lining, but the future of lead has one very bright and shiny aspect. If most lead used in America is for lead acid batteries, that's the same lead that can be used over and over again through recycling. I don't see us running out of lead any time in the near future. We recycle over 99% in our industry, so we're not dependent upon totally newly mined lead for this. The recycling rate has enabled us to continue yesterday and today and into tomorrow.